Hi everyone, welcome back to South Coast Yachts in San Diego, California. Today we're going to be introducing you to the new Beneteau Antares 11 outboard cruiser. You can see those beautiful big Mercury 300s right there, joystick operated. Uh, we're going to be walking through the boat today and showing you all the features. We're going to run her out uh, in San Diego Bay, maneuver her around the docks a little bit and show you how she handles and should be really fun. So I'm glad you joined us and uh, I'm just going to step aboard and drop the motors into the water and show you how the cockpit kind of expands into a really nice living area. This boat has the extended swim plan pl uh, platforms, so that's really nice. It pushes the swim ladder outside of the, of the engine and, and the prop, so much safer than having a, a, a swim ladder inboard. I'm going to step aboard. I'm just going to run and grab these motors, and we'll put them down for you. Okay, so um, got the motors down in the water, and what's really cool about this cockpit setup is this is a, a, a aft settee that's on track, so you basically can just slide it back, and it locks into place in both spots. And then you have a cockpit table over here that has two positions, kind of a linear uh, position on the, on the port side of the boat, and then you can very easily take it off. Brand new, beautiful teak. Put it in this side. And then have a kind of a, a thwart chips port and starboard cockpit table, allowing a little bit more flow in the cockpit. Nice, nice place to sit around with everybody. One of the really cool things about this boat that's kind of, um, they took the idea from the larger GTs, the GT50, is a big linear settee area that comes right from the inside of the boat right around into the cockpit. So literally, I think you could probably put eight or ten of your best friends right here at the, in this cockpit, all comfortable. You can see the uh, sliding glass doors close there and this little piece removes so that you can slide the doors all the way shut and also the doors slide all the way open so that, um, so that you have a nice big airy salon here. This, this is the door sliding closed and they slide right there and lock off. And then just lock off to the side here top and bottom so they don't rattle around when you're underway. In the cockpit, you also have a very big cockpit lazarette right here. So underneath the cockpit table, two uh, latches there lifted up and it, down there you have your generator. So this boat is really loaded up. Um, we brought the, bought this boat with just about every option you can get from the factory. Really cool stuff. But so it's got the generator, it's got air conditioning. And what's really interesting on this boat is the generator is a diesel generator, which is kind of surprising. Gas engines, big Mercs, diesel generator. Why? because people don't want internal combustion inside, inside the boat. So, so if you had internal gas engines, there's combustible uh, uh, gases in there. By do, using a diesel generator, it has its separate tank. It's very safe, very quiet, very reliable, and you know how long diesels last, just forever. And then, of course, a separate fill station for a, a small diesel tank. Putting this generator on uh, and running it, you can run it for about 24 hours straight without, uh, without filling up the, the fuel. Another really nice feature on the boat uh, that is uh, causing a lot of uh, great press and uh, our customers just love it is this drop down side platform. It's basically like a little porch that drops down so you can use it as a swim platform or a little uh, section to just put a chair on it. I'll drop it down for you. Once the, uh, the platform is down, it's a great place to just to sit, to dive off the boat for you know perfect swim platform and it's got a nice little guard on it that, with uh, little stanchions that fit in there to keep uh, people on the boat but it really expands the cockpit, as you can see how much more square footage it gives you out here. So if you're sitting there, uh, maybe rafted to somebody on the other side, you have this little private porch on the uh, starboard side here to come enjoy and let the kids jump off of. Love it. I'm gonna lift it back up right now. Right. So the other cool feature on the boat uh, in the cockpit is it's got a big sliding sunroof and it's electric. So if you want to get a little bit more sun or get, get out of the sun, you can close it. But to uh, get a little more sun, there's a, a switch right on the top of the roof right here on the cabin top. You just hit that button and it opens up. What you realize on this boat is there's everything is convertible. It's got all these cool features. 
that are cool in themselves. And then they, you see a button and it switches and you can move a, a chair to one place. You can create a helm seat. You can open up the cockpit for, you know, for more sun. It's, it's a very universal uh, utilitarian cruising boat. Uh, so many fun features and, and you know just perfect for Southern California cruising, Florida Keys, even cool weather because you know it's got this great enc enclosed uh, cabin and, and helm station. You know if you're up in the Northwest or or the Northeast, um, this one's got the air conditioning system. There is heat available from the factory if you wanted to add heat to it. So um, as far as a protected cruiser for cruising the uh, you know up to Alaska or something like that, it's it's a it's a great boat. I want to talk a little bit about the motors. Um, uh, Mercury, of course, uh, Verado 300s. These are joystick Mercury 300s. And what's interesting about this, and you've probably noticed in the ads and on YouTube and all the, all the different videos, that outboards are just skyrocketing in popularity. So what's cool about the outboards is they're quiet, they're reliable, um, they're very efficient. Uh, I'll, we'll talk a little bit when we get inside about the efficiency of this boat, how she is at, at different speeds and stuff and fuel consumption. Um, they're outside the boat, as I said earlier, no internal combustion inside the boat. They also allow a lot more space inside the boat. So if you had two inboards or two stern drives right here, all this section of storage would be taken up with motors. Real cool little feature on these things, there's a little hood on top. Just push the button, you have an uh, oil dipstick and oil fill right there so you don't have to take a giant uh, cowling off to check the oil right on top of it. All sorts of um, oil, oil information and the size of the motor, all, that, all the details right there. Isn't that cool? So just for simple uh, checking the engines before you take off, you can, you can check your oil right there by just opening that little, that little door. So we're going to go inside and, and show you the interior features of the boat, and then what we'll probably do is step outside and go on the bow. Does that sound good? Come on aboard. Stepping into the main salon, you can the first thing you notice is, is the amount of natural light. Very big windows, very big ports, overhead uh, sunroofs with shades opening ports on the side. You can see the L-shaped uh, settee extends right into the cockpit so you can see a lot of people. It's got an extendable cock or a salon table here with little leaves and this also drops down to make another double bunk so you can sleep, gosh, two to three people up forward, two to three in the mid sec stateroom and another one out here. So lots of area to sleep the whole big family. Um, the, uh, we've spoken before on other boats about cross ventilation. Uh, it's so important. You can see in the size of the opening door on the starboard side, the opening window on the port side. A lot of good cross ventilation in the boat. So it's not only light, but it's very airy. And of course, you can close the whole thing off. You got curtains throughout the whole boat to make it a very private spot. If you want to sit in here and have a romantic dinner with your mate, you can, uh, you can do that and close off the windows. And, and ports there with those with those curtains. Another thing I want to show you is this this seat on the this convertible seat on the uh, port side of the boat here. Uh, we mentioned before in other boats that with with the drivers facing forward, running the boat around, the whole family and other other spots of the boat. A lot of times you have people that want to come up and hang out with the driver. And sitting backwards, you're looking back here. It'd be nice to have a forward facing seat so you could kind of just plan your uh, your journey and stuff and be next to the captain, whoever's driving the boat, give that person some support. So this is a convertible. Uh, seat here, which is really cool. Check this out. Lifts up like that. That goes like that. And you got a really nice forward facing seat to enjoy. It's pretty much a love seat. You can fit uh, two people on there, which is pretty cool. Okay, so on the starboard side of the boat, you have the galley. It's a nice linear galley with all sorts of extra storage and stuff. You can see the you got a nice two burner. This is the, um, the ceramic HOB, so it's the electric uh, powered stove. Of course, we have either shore power to run that or we have a generator on the boat to run that. So wherever you are, you can, uh, you can uh, cook right there. And then a nice sink, a couple drink holders. And then in here, all sorts of storage. You got a nice set of drawers, a little waste bin, recycling and regular. And then some more storage right there. Oops, close that. And then this right here, you have a fridge. Somebody uh, commented on one of the other things. They were, they were so glad we opened the fridge. <laughs> so there it is. There's the inside of the fridge, little freezer compartment right there, and a nice little uh, fridge for, for cruising. And then going forward, you got a microwave and then more storage. And then even more storage right here. So a little, maybe a little liquor cabinet right there or, and storage for some glasses. There's a fire extinguisher for quick access if you ever needed it. Um, but, you know, on a, for a cruising outboard boat, you, uh, you have to think about the amount of space that's freed up by not having engines right in the middle of the boat. So nice low uh, salon floor, 
six uh, four of headroom. I'm sorry, sorry, six seven of headroom throughout the boat. I'm six even, and the, the actually the smallest headroom is six four in one of the staterooms. So a lot of headroom, a lot of open airy space. The helm is to starboard on the boat, and you can see how uh, advanced it is. It's pretty cool. We're going to check that out right now. So come on up. So it um, so the boat has an adjustable helm seat, so you can move it fore and aft. It's also got a little bolster on it, so you can just put your rear end right there, or or move it forward just a bit, so so you're in close to the wheel. I'm going to slide it back. I'm going to sit up here. So looking at the helm, all sorts of really cool stuff. So we have the huge Garmin 12-inch screen. Um, this actually might be the 16-inch screen there. So giving you GPS, giving you radar. Um, we have the Mercury controls right here. To the right, you'll see those pop on in a second. And then we have the Zipwake system. The Zipwake is, is a uh, trim, uh, an automatic trim tab system that basically keeps the boat level at all, at all different angles and, and speed. And then uh, throttles are right here to the starboard side. Nice leather wrap steering wheel. And then your joystick. So these are the Mercury Verado joystick uh, maneuvered outboards. We're going to run out and do some spins, and it's pretty cool. Um, just like IPS, uh, Zeus systems, or uh, other uh, stern drive joystick systems, it does the same exact thing. Just by using the motors, not by using the bow thruster, but just by using the motors, you can spin the boat on a dime on its center line. You can go sideways. Wherever you put the joystick, the boat goes. So we're going to talk about that. You'll see my hand maneuvering it, and you'll see how it, how it maneuvers around. What's great about the joystick, and also the bow thruster, you can see it's got a nice side power bow thruster right there, is this just takes the edge off of docking. Uh, I saw a guy walking down the dock the other day, and he had a shirt that said, I'm sorry what I said when, I, when we were docking. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of couples may, you might get heated or something like that as you're trying to dock the boat, because it's a little bit nerve wracking when you get close to the dock on a beautiful boat like this. You don't want to scratch it. Fenders are down, but you got a bow thruster, you got a joystick, so you can, you can get the boat right to the dock safely. Step right out the side door, lines are there, and you're, and you're there and secure. So no stress uh, docking is what this is all about with these 300 Verados and, and the joystick. Also, something that the South Coast team does uh, when, when we commission a boat, we're just about getting ready to deliver this boat to a customer here in San Diego. And um, so she's almost ready. But you'll see a lot of extra labels on the boat. We just like to make sure that, that the customer knows where everything is. They don't have to go searching for, a, for an owner's manual or anything like that. If you lift up a floorboard or if you lift up a cushion, you can see everything is labeled by our South Coast team. Another thing, always slide bench forward before raising the outboards. That bench in the cockpit is meant to slide forward so the outboards come up. The outboards will come up anyway if you don't slide the bench forward. So just a reminder from our team, slide it forward. Good memory. So that's the helm. Nice visibility, as you can see, just, just for a little bit of size uh, comparison. I'm six feet tall. I can see straight out under this, uh, well under this uh, uh, headliner here. You know, great visibility side to side. You know, just a huge amount of 360 degree visibility. So that just makes boating really safe on this Antares 11 and maneuvering. So we'll go down below and show you the staterooms, which is uh, the boat just goes on and on. So the Antares 11 is, is a full two stateroom boat, so two full staterooms. You have a full beam uh, stateroom right in the middle of the boat under the salon here, and you also have a, a full beam uh, V-berth, so really nice accommodations. And then one head and separate shower. So we're going to go down below and check it out. Also, you'll notice going down, this has the carpet option on the boat, so that's an option uh, that you can get. You can get a nice, comfortable carpet, so when you step out of bed in the morning, you, your, your feet are all comfy on that warm floor. Moving uh, forward, also, the, uh, one of the nice features is um, uh, it's got a little pantry area here with all sorts of cool storage. So you got an extra fridge uh, or freezer. You can do fridge or freezer in here. Um, this one, I believe we opted to do the freezer. And we're going to show the inside because I know everybody likes to see that. So that's the, uh, the inside of the freezer. Nice big freezer. So plenty of extra storage for your cruising plans and keep that stuff frozen. And then you have access to just some systems in here. You can see how the South Coast team has labeled the outlets for the air conditioning. There's your hot water heater in there and um, all sorts of uh, different uh, systems. And then also forward, you have a um, nice little pantry right here with all sorts of extra storage for cruising. Isn't that cool? So moving forward. You can get, come on, follow me into the uh, the main stateroom here. You can see how beamy uh, the, the the bunk is. I mean, it's really just about a king sized uh, bunk, so very big. All sorts of storage underneath. You have direct access to your head and shower, 
And also you'll notice that just the amount of natural light. There are curtains that close all this off for privacy. You've got a nice hatch right above your headboard right there so you can have some air flowing through here. That's got uh, screens and also a nice cover for it. This boat also has the optional storage uh, up, up above uh, the windows here. So th that's an option from the factory. We, we like that. You always need places to put your stuff. So that's a really nice feature. So there's a very big locker in the owner's stateroom on the starboard side right here. I've got the life jackets in there right now. You can see though the hanging locker. So lots of room there. Another storage locker right here for shoes or, or folded sweaters, whatever you like. And then you can see on top of it, this is the optional pre-fit for a TV from the factory. So we install the TVs here, depending on what the owner wants. Um, but it's got a cool little uh, swing out type TV si system. So you can put probably, a, I would say maybe about a 28, 28 or 30 inch uh, flat screen right there. All re ready for cable or um, whatever you need uh, for reception there. Air conditioning controls, lights right there. And you can see it's also got some nice uh, opening ports just for natural cross ventilation if you don't feel like turning on the air conditioning on the boat. So overhead hatch, uh, cross ventilation from the ports and stuff like that. And then a really nice walk right into the head if you feel like it. So privately, without going out into the main salon or, or the hallway there, you can walk right into the head. You can see the size of that shower. It's pretty cool. And you know, being uh, my size, six feet tall, about 235 or so, I'm a little bit larger. I always like to get on in the heads and find out if I fit. And uh, I do that on every boat that comes in. So the toilet is right here. You can see a nice big airy area with a sink, a big ba nice basin sink forward. This is the electric quiet flush toilet. And then in, in the head, you can see it's got an adjustable uh, spigot there, little ventilation. It's got uh, covers that go over the port so you have privacy in here. Shower sump pump right there, uh, the, the faucets right there. So it's also got a nice glass door that closes this area off so you can have a nice shower in here. So as I said, I'm six feet tall, probably six, four, six, five in here. Plenty of room to shower and be comfortable in a 36 foot cruising boat. Another cool feature, um, just everybody's all, always wondering what's in the tanks, how much do I have left? You've got a water tank gauge, a fresh water tank gauge right here. You've got a holding tank gauge right here so you know how much is in your black water tank. And then of course a macerator pump and electric heads. So all the information about plumbing is right there. And I'll open, the, I'll close this door for you so you can see nice big overhead uh, mirror there. You got a little USB port right there if you want to charge your phone or plug in a hair dryer or whatever for the, on the AC system. Um, and you can see how light and airy it is. If you can imagine just this boat sitting in a nice tropical uh, colored water out there rather than being at the dock here. But we'll have to go take it for a ride. So you can see in this full beam uh, midship stateroom that there's really a ton of room for kids or a couple of adults. You got a little seating area to, to change your clothes, a nice little hanging locker across on the starboard side. There's actually a whole nother bench seat over there. So it's a really uh, fun and creative use of space on the Antares 11 for, for sleeping, for taking a nap, uh, for cruising. So, I mean, realistically, you could have a family of four or five on this boat uh, comfortably cruising for a week. And it's, it's, that's what it's built for. Another cool feature on the Antares 11 is that you'll notice is the whole house of the boat, the cabin top, is offset to port. So it's a little bit closer to the port side than it is on the starboard side, allowing for this nice wide walkway with big bulwarks, uh, nice stainless grab rails. On the port side, you have a walk over. So if you wanted to put fenders down on your lines or, or walk forward over there, you could. But this is really the way to get forward. It's nice and wide. It's intentionally built wider by offsetting the house. So walking forward, I wanted to show you the bow. You can see these nice stainless rails here. Of course, access right into the helm or access off the boat by the door right there. You can see how wide the uh, walkway is. Great non-skid, nice high and, and, and solid bow rail to, to grab onto for security. Um, you can see this one's got the, uh, the bow cushions, and it's also got a really cool little bimini, or little, I'm sorry, a little dodger that lifts up just to keep the sun off you. It locks off right there, so you can see a nice little place to come up and take a nap, put the kids up here for a little bit, and um, enjoy the bow of the boat when you're on the hook somewhere. Beautiful. These also, these two sides uh, lift up, so you have a nice uh, angled uh, lounge right here. Isn't that cool? And then, of course, up on the bow, you got an electric windlass, which is part of the comfort pack. Two deep anchor lockers right here. Um, lots of nice room. And the, what you really notice is this solid stainless uh, bow rail. Gives you a lot of room to walk around. You can sit up here and talk to your friends and kick back on the hook. And 
Enjoy your beautiful boat. Santeria's 11 is awesome. I just love it. Can't wait to play with it. <laughs> Let's take her for a ride. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fire up and go for a ride. This will be fun. So port and starboard uh, Mercury 300 Verados, ignition's on. The uh, throttles are in uh, neutral position. You can see right there. I'm gonna start them up. One. That's port, and that's starboard. And you can see the uh, the joystick uh, system lights up. It actually uh, changes colors and and, and uh, colors basically follow the maneuvering that you're doing. So if you twist the joystick to uh, clockwise, the boat will turn clockwise. If you push the joystick to port, the boat will go to port. So we're going to go and do that. We're going to go out here, we're going to spin it around a little bit, do a couple of maneuvers and stuff like that, and then we'll see what it looks like from outside the boat. And then we'll take her out and, uh, and run her at full speed. Her top speed tested on this boat is 46.2 miles an hour, so real fast with, the, with these big 300s. Uh, but you don't have to go that fast all day. As I said earlier, at, at, at 30 miles an hour, you're, you're most efficient. So we'll run it around and do some nice gliding. So I'm going to turn on the bow thruster, just the two on buttons. That yellow light right there, you can hear the, the uh, bow thruster turn on down below. And just, I always like to test it before I leave the dock. Very power, powerful bow thruster. So just that's to starboard and port, working perfectly. I'm going to just step off the side here and I'm going to grab the lines and we're going to go. So I, I can either either use the throttles getting out of here or the or the uh, joystick. I'll probably do the joystick just for fun. I'm going to straighten the boat out a little bit, and then joystick forward. And the joystick is also a bit of a throttle. So the harder you push in whatever direction you're pushing, it adds more RPMs to those Mercuries. So I can go a little faster. See the boat coming over this way a little bit? I can just thrust it over a little bit if I want to. What we're going to do is we're going to go out here and just do some spins. So we're going straight out right now, straight out of the slip on F dock here at Sun Road. Once I get out past the dock, we're going to stop it. So by stopping it, we just put it in reverse. And we look sideways to see if we're stopped. Looks like we're stopped. There we go. Now I'm going to twist it 90 degrees. So we're just going to go 90 degrees out here. Here we go. Of course, you, you can use the throttles if you want with these big Mercs and three-point turn it coming out of a slip, or you can just use this uh, beautiful joystick system. The JPO or joystick is an option on the boat. You don't have to get it, but it sure makes life a lot, easy, a lot easier. So there we are, facing right out. Now I'm going to stop the turn right here. And I'm just going to push it sideways. So that's moving the boat sideways. Okay. I'm going to stop that turn now, and I, or that sideways movement. I'm going to put it back in the middle of the, of the channel by going to port. So what's great about this is if you want to come up to a dock sideways or come up to this door sideways and just step off the boat at a, at a restaurant or a pump out dock or a fuel dock or something like that, you can use that joystick just to slide it right over, get you right up, step right off the boat and nice and easy. Lay those fenders right up there. So I'm going to close the little door on the side. We're done here at the dock. Bow thrust it out just a little bit. The second you put the, uh, the throttles in gear, the uh, joystick is disengaged. And here we go. And once we get outside, we'll grab the fenders so they aren't dragging. And we'll go run it at full speed and half speed and do some spins and stuff like that. Let the kids drive. Sound good, Jane? Okay, as we're heading out past Sun Road Marina here in San Diego, you can see the beautiful downtown skyline. I'm happily at the helm here. My daughter Jane is uh, next to me. We're going to have some fun going fast. Um, a couple of the features we didn't point out earlier are, are the two um, skylights on top and then also two opening sunroofs. So you can get a lot of flow through the boat, which is really nice. And then just close it off like that and also close off the shade or, or put the um, 
And there's some friends of mine, so I'm gonna blow the horn. <laughs>